Yes, sir. Yes, it's Gary Humphreys. Gary? Humphreys. Uh, you work for a Metro, aren't you? Yes. I used to work in the Commerce Department, same as you. Ah, uh, I remember the one telling me I should wear in a suicide belt. Aye. Right. Sorry, say that again, Gary, please. I'm the union rep now for Unite. Right, okay, sir. Right, now, apparently you had a conversation with Alan Jones last week. Yes, I had. And you said that you had some medical information that would belong to him? Yes, I have. Yes. Uh, right, I've spoke to my union full-time officer about this. Yes. And she says she would like either you to provide a written letter to myself stating that you have this information about Alan and other people within the Commerce Department, right? Right. Or, or to actually provide a copy of all the information that you have on people within this department to myself to give to the full-time union officer. Uh, what's the reason for? It's because Alan's got a grievance going in at the moment because of disclosure of his private medical information. Yes, I understand that. I just told him that. Yeah. <laughs> because the reason is, is that, Gary, first of all, <coughs> you see, I make an allegation about yourself and John Eyre on May the 2009. Yeah. And I said to you, is I mean, at that time you probably said it on the joke or whatever, right? Yeah. But technically, if you think about it, it, was a racist remark, right? Because you said to me, because I had an interview with, with the Angela Bills, the HR manager, and uh, and the uh, other. Uh, Oh, that Colin Sue and her stuff was there. And you said to me, they're going to give the job to you against uh, Ian Smith. And I said, well, well, what do you think that is, Gary? He said, well, because if they don't give a job to you, you've got a suicide belt and you're going to blow them up. And that's what you said. Well, if I said that, it would have been meant as a joke, Peter. Yeah, I, I understand. You see, it, it, it's, it, Gary... You know, I respect all the people. I worked for uh, in uh, for Potsy for 25 years, right? I help him everywhere I can, and and he helped me everything he can. He came to my house, helped me put the foundation for a garage, and then uh, from that moment on, every time I went to see him and with the other lads, the joke was because it was a Salman Rushdie. The joke was that. In a tunnel, like a metro tunnel, I kill people, I put a body of the people down there, whoever I don't like it. It's the same as the Salman Rushdie, was a fat fight against him, and that was a joke he was doing. It was a, I was an undercover going around and killing people, right? And that is a, like a racial remark he was making. It was a union debt. And I take it on the chin because I thought, well, he's saying that because it's a joke. Again, I work with a guy from the day one. We work both together. He's a you, uh, the, the the driver. I don't know. You know Dave Dave Air. You know Dave. Uh, I've heard his name. I don't know who he uh, is. Dave Air uh, is a uh, is a controller manager. It, his brother was called John Air, and his father used to be inspector. So I started working with the John Air, and John Air. Every time I was talking to him. He didn't call me Bijan or anything else. He called me Gupte. And he always taking the piss out of me, you know, talking like that. I was an Indian one, right? And I was making a joke about it. And he was a, a, supposed to be in the racial equality group, right? And I put up with it for, for 28 years. And I thought, well, that's enough. I'm not going to do any more, right? I mean, you were, you were new to the department at the time, yes? Yeah. And you didn't know what was the background behind all these things. And you said it as you said yourself. You said it, you know, because you thought it was just a funny joke, right? And it's meant it as a joke. But if you put your foot in my sh 
position. You put yourself in my position, right? Having that for 29 years. Yeah, well, I, I didn't know that background. If I had, then I would never have made the joke. Yeah, I appreciate that. that. That's what I'm saying. The people say something without knowing because I was there for 29 years. I've been discriminated day in, day out, right? And, and that's so what's happened. Some of my best friends, um, uh, Indian. Yeah, I'm saying the people are, I'm sure the, the people are national front members. But they eat the curry every Friday night, but it doesn't make them, you know, they, 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 they like the Indian. They like your food, but they don't like Indian. You know, this is a fact. I mean, we are not going around that for.